Flint residents are irate. Their water is not safe. And they're left wondering, would something like this have happened in a city that is whiter or wealthier? We're 41 percent under the poverty line. We can't afford the highest bills in the nation for the lowest quality water in the nation. Unfair isn't the right word, but it's right there. Flint water relief. This former automaking hub has become the latest example of an impoverished, largely minority city that believes it has been treated differently by the government. General Motors reassigning their plants other places and, and it's the aftermath has left a lot of people uh, destitute and desperate and uh, when they feel like their voices aren't being heard it just adds to the frustration. Most of the frustration is being directed at Governor Rick Snyder who appointed an emergency manager to run Flint. That manager approved a plan to begin drawing drinking water from the Flint River in 2014 to save money. Residents complained almost immediately after the switch. The city assured them it was safe. Turns out, officials failed to treat the corrosive water properly to prevent metal leaching from old pipes. The result has been contaminated water and kids at risk for developing learning disabilities and behavior problems from lead exposure. If you already knew what was going on, it should never happen, you know? If it's causing about saving money, that's not good for nobody. Snyder has repeatedly apologized for the mishandling of the situation. To you, the people of Flint, I say tonight, as I have before, I am sorry and I will fix it. Filmmaker Michael Moore returned to his hometown to lead a rally at City Hall, calling for Snyder's ouster and arrest. Let's call this what it is. It's, a genocide. it's not just a water crisis. It's a genocide. It's a racial crisis. It's a genocide. It's a poverty crisis. A crisis leaving families fearing for their health and the future of their children. Mike Householder, Associated Press, Flint, Michigan.